My godfather is in the house, right now, right here. <laughs> I have Mr. Winfred Williams next to me. Winfred, how are you doing? I'm good, sir. It's good to be on your face view. Right, 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 right. Without a shadow of a doubt, Winfred, uh, you've been one of the most well-known journalists among the dancehall and reggae community in Jamaica. And I want to ask you this question. What would you want to see change or happen different or customize or tweak or revise mm -hmm. any of those within the sector of reggae music and dancehall in Jamaica? Wow, that's that's a lot. There's a there's a long list of things that we could do. Better. Tell us one, um, Winfred. You know, um, we would like to see more more understanding of the business of music, the business of entertainment, mm -hmm. that we take it seriously, that we understand that we are only um, the second country in the world mm -hmm. to create a music genre that the, the world embraces that the world embraces and consumes and performs and the only person, the only other country in front of us is the United States of America. Right, so we, 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 we have created a genre mm -hmm. and a subculture to match right. and the, the world embraces it all. Right, 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 so, but we're not doing business right. um, that matches our status. Right, in global music that and that is what I would I think That's is because is, for us to continue to grow our brand our music our talents in Jamaica and to lift our standards we need revenue we need right. money big box to do big things and if we don't understand the business of music and entertainment mm. enough to exploit the attention we're getting from the world right we will not be able to achieve these objectives. And we think, it, we think it's necessary, uh, Winford, any at all, for Jamaica to have an association that supports dance hall music. I'm not sure if it's there. I've, I've lived in Jamaica for a number of years now, but is there a, a sort of bureau or association that, that supports uh, dance hall music? Well, I don't know if there's a, an organized body that supports dance hall per se, but of course there's all kinds of um, groups such as the, the Musician Union, the JFM, Jamaica Federation of Musicians Union, which of course is a union that is that everybody can be part of, everybody can join, pay their dues, and use it to to lobby for for whatever. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, so that right, right. that exists. There are many other um, groups and organizations, and some of the names are coming to mind, which have been formed and some have died, and some some are still hanging in there trying to to make a difference. Do you think an artist um, has to have a controversial thing going on or something to kind of sell? Because I see artists now who kind of sort of have good talent but sort of not surfacing but the ones who have a, a gossip thing you know controversial always make it is the controversial thing a part of the marketing strategy or is, is it? No well it's it's not I don't know that it's a deliberate strategy right. um, in marketing uh, we will try to milk it if right. it happened right. some artists are naturally naturally right. Right. Con controversial right. Right. okay right. ninja man vibes cartel bounty killer mm. on and on you can go most dancehall artists are controversial right. what about dancehall artists don't normally um, subscribe to the societal norms right. they <laughs> are they're always rebelling against systems right. and and, rebe and they're rebellious and they are um, so they're they, always they, going to be they, controversial right, right, the right. and the bigger they get is the more controversial they get this view tv winford williams when i can get it i'll get it i'll be on it but otherwise you know where to find me on stage <laughs>